Somebody, two or three people ask me for a protection ritual. How many people are wearing a protection ritual? Okay, right. All right. This is the goddess segment. We might have another, uh, uh, some more of these pictures. We might have uh, some more of these pictures. This is the goddess segment. The lioness deity, the ferocious, terrible deity of ancient Egypt, she's the protector. You see, there's a, she's the protector. She's later on to call up the Lion of Judah. She's also the Sphinx. You see. Now, there's a ritual you can do to her for protection. The only thing you have to do with this is a, visualize this lion deity standing behind you with her hands or her claws on your shoulder. And she's standing behind you. And then you chant. Let's see what it says. Let's see. I'm sweating and it's sweating drying up and that's the salt. You see. I don't feel like a, a box of popcorn. Okay. Yeah, I got some. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. It says, and you chant after you visualize her, and you visualize her teeth growling or snarling at your enemies. And then you just simply say, protect me, O powerful mother, set me. For those enemies that crowd about me. Protect me, O powerful mother, set me. That's all you have to say. And one time again, protect me. So you, you visualize behind you with her teeth grinding at the enemy. Now that means it don't necessarily mean the enemy got to be before you. You can be in your house and know some nigga get ready to come or somebody move home. Set me. 